Hi everyone, uh, thanks for the uh, introduction. Uh, I'm Dr. Sapia Chali. I'm a molecular screening scientist at Pairwise Plants. I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, thank you for Twist Biosciences for providing this opportunity. Today I'm going to talk about uh, target capture uh, sequencing technology, how we used uh, to um, for the confirmation of transgene status in genome edited plants. Uh, before I talk, uh, going to the target capture methodology, I just want to talk about uh, uh, where we are uh, as a company and uh, what we do. The question I uh, like to ask, what if fruits and vegetables fit into people's lives in a new way? For example, like a salad greens, like romaine, uh, they are very crisp, uh, but uh, what if they could be as delicious, as nutritious as kale? are like a pitless cherries. Uh, they are no choke, no, low, no mess. Uh, just take it on the go. Are, um, are uh, seedless berries that are plump, juicy, and easier for a snack time. Uh, with these uh, in mind, uh, the company Pairwise Plant uh, built with the mission uh, to, to build a healthier world through better fruits and uh, vegetables. Um, to build a food company uh, that uses the um, technology breakdown, the barriers that are keeping down from eating fruits and vegetables. We are located in Durham downtown uh, in a um, headquarters uh, with a, a space for office and lab space. And we have another facility at Research Triangle Park uh, with a greenhouse and growth facility. Uh, our founders, uh, Tom Adams and Haven Baker, with the uh, co-scientific uh, founders uh, uh, from MIT, Harvard, and Mass uh, General Hospital, and they uh, pioneered uh, CRISPR technology, base editing, as, as well as uh, invented, optimized this uh, uh, gene editing technology. Uh, our food, uh, the food tech company, we have exclusive five-year um, Bayer row uh, collaboration uh, for 100 million. And we have IP access to germplasm and a gene editing uh, platform. And we have other investors uh, uh, like uh, Deerfield um, and uh, other, uh, com other companies. We are a, a building a portfolio across produce. Our pro, uh, first uh, product uh, projected in next few years, uh, as you can see, we are working on leafy greens, cherry, and uh, blackberry. What we have accomplished uh, so far is like uh, we have selected uh, varieties that are nutrient dense uh, with the texture, profile, and qualities. And uh, 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 these varieties are edited for uh, improve, improved taste and we have achieved a uh, fast POC experiment in, a, in six months. Uh, uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, edited field trials in progress and we are creating um, salad mixes and kits uh, for testing in, in 2022. The story I'm going to talk about today um, uh, about uh, leafy green uh, product and uh, how we confirm the transgene uh, status. In a half year, uh, we were able to uh, identify a component that causing the bitterness in leafy greens uh, and the pathway that can, um, and the genes that is responsible causing this uh, pungency. And we have also uh, tested and prioritized plants in the field uh, that are useful for, uh, that are uh, evaluated. And we created robust uh, high throughput uh, assay for uh, edit efficiency and assessing the pungency in these uh, leafy green uh, plants. Uh, just going to the these edited uh, plants, uh, we have uh, about uh, highly gentia, brassica gentia is an alloploid with uh, more than 13 uh, genes expressed. They are all located in uh, six uh, chromosomes and we were able to mm, edit all of them simultaneously. 
and uh, these loss of function mutants uh, gave uh, intended uh, flavor profile. Uh, the next step is uh, to uh, identify, once these homozygous edited plants are uh, identified, uh, they have to be screened for their transgene uh, status. Our typical uh, transgene uh, screening, screening is a qPCR uh, assay approach, where initial screening is uh, based on designing the primers and probes in a few locations on the nucleus and uh, confirm the transgene uh, state, nucleus uh, presence or absence status. However, uh, this assay is not sufficient, especially if, uh, if any other pieces on the, black, uh, on the plasmid or on the backbone are integrated in the genome or outside of this assay gene. Uh, this is where we uh, uh, approach twist uh, for uh, target capture uh, um, idea about using the target capture sequencing technology uh, to uh, confirm the transgene status. Uh, um, as you all know, uh, the target capture methodology is uh, it's uh, is an unbiased method. Uh, meaning it's uh, very highly sensitive and uh, uh, reproducible. Uh, the, this, the probes uh, can be designed uh, for a wide range of panel sizes or regions or with the multi, several multiplexing op uh, uh, requirements. So instead of sequencing the whole genome, you can uh, extract our specific genomic regions. They can be isolated and sequenced. And many different types of samples can be combined or captured into a single cube. And uh, the coverage of these uh, reads in a multi-captured experiments are very uniform. The experimental, um, uh, the probe design uh, is, uh, is, can be uh, uh, twist design the probes for these uh, uh, captures. Mm. One probe set can be used for every crop, regardless of the gene of interest, meaning that many uh, probes from many crop species can be included, like uh, leafy greens, cherries, or berries here, or many, uh, like we can include visual or um, antibiotic selection markers, nucleus sequences, or gene of interest. So in a single tube of more than 6,000 probes covers uh, uh, many uh, sequences of interest for more than 10 crops. Now, the twist uh, design uh, uh, designs probes to cover the entire plasmid. Uh, this is a standard uh, design process uh, uh, covering uh, entire plasmid standard 1x styling and there the probes are about 120 base pair, um, uh, 120 double standard DNA probes. Uh, the design process uh, excludes some of the low complexity regions uh, to avoid the off-target uh, capture. Uh, the bottom here is a cartoon showing uh, uh, the probes, how the probes are uniformly uh, covered the uh, entire plasmid sequence. The uh, experimental workflow or uh, workflow is very uh, very easy and uh, a standard workflow where you take the high quality genomic DNA extractions and uh, fragmentation, fragment those genomic DNA samples uh, ligate the both ends of the adapters. Uh, these uh, fragmented, fragmented libraries are indexed you know, and uh, purified and they are, are combined into a capture experiment. A multi-capture experiment usually performed com combined by uh, pulling eight samples into one single capture uh, and uh, they are incubated with uh, probes, double standard probes, overnight for 16 hours. Uh, the, um, the enriched libraries are uh, pulled down with the uh, streptavidin beads and uh, these are uh, post-captured post uh, uh, libraries are amplified and purified and sequenced on the 2 by 250 paired end reads on aluminumiseq. The uh, data analysis uh, um, uh, QC is a very standard uh, process and uh, uh, first we go through the read QC where you remove all of the duplicate reads, trim adapters and remove any low quality bases. And the, ma the mapping is uh, um, mapping of the reads is uh, here in uh, 
the data map to the two sets of sequence. One is uh, internal control genes where they were included in the probe set and the second is the uh, reads are mapped to the plasmid. So map reads to the plasmid has a whole genome and the internal controls and uh, based on the data how these reads are mapped uh, that determines uh, whether sample is transgene positive or transgene negative. Uh, I'll show you the typical um, result uh, for a transgene positive or, or transgene uh, negative sample, how you interpret the data. On the left here, uh, the reads on the x-axis, you see the number of reads and the y-axis, uh, the uh, sample uh, sample samples on the bottom. So first the reads are mapped to the internal controls. Uh, there are two internal control genes included here. Uh, this shows that the capture is successful. And the second one is reads mapped to the plasmid. Uh, here you don't see um, reads mapping to the plasmid, meaning that this sample is transgene negative. On the right, uh, transgene uh, positive sample where internal controls and the plasmid re um, reads are mapped to the internal control genes as well as the plasmid, which is an indication of the sample is transient positive. So another uh, view uh, to um, look at this data, not just by the reads, but the, how this, uh, these reads are aligned to the entire sequence. Uh, and, and this uh, cartoon here, um, the gray line uh, that represents the plasmid sequence, uh, it's, here it's about 12 kb. And uh, the, the trans, in a transgene positive uh, sample, uh, most likely the tDNA is integrated. Um, that usually um, happens. So we can see the, gray, the reads are mapped uh, to the sequence, plasmid sequence. In very, whereas in this transgene negative sample, very uh, few reads are uh, they are less than below threshold and which is considered as transient negative. And we have also used as a plasmid with the dilution and as a control just to see the unit, uh, the cover, um, just to see uh, how the uh, reads are mapping to the entire plasmid. And on the bottom here, the blue lines are the capture probes. And so another uh, in important thing uh, about a capture is uh, is very sensitive and uh, uh, even this works really well when the samples are diluted. So on the left here, there's a transgene positive as well as dilution of this transgenic sample. On the right, uh, the black and uh, red one where you have a test sample and the wild type and uh, very few are uh, the reads are below threshold. So it is a very highly sensitive capture and in a multi-capture experiment, uh, there is all of the, each all of these sample individual samples in a capture. Uh, they get a uniform read across the samples. As you can see, capture one is as a one pool and capture two, and they have a reads uh, uniformity of the read coverage across the samples. Um, in a typical experiment, when you uh, um, uh, once you have the completed the analysis and uh, streamlined the data analysis, uh, the e data interpretation is very e easy, uh, meaning that you map the reads to the internal controls and to the plasmid. Here I am showing a graph on the left uh, panel. Uh, first, you map all of the reads to the internal controls and uh, for example, here all of the samples have reads that are mapping to the internal controls. That shows that the capture is very successful for all of these samples. On the right, where you have your test samples, and only a few um, orange bars um, where the reads are mapping to the plasmid, indicating that these samples are transgene positive, but remaining other samples are, are uh, trans transgene negative. Uh, just to summarize uh, my talk, uh, target capture is a robust uh, method uh, to assess the transgene purity compared to the southern blot or PCR. And uh, if the this is very uh, useful where 
uh, partially integrated if, if the regions are outside of the PCR assay or partial regions are uh, partial regions are integrated in the genome. Uh, this re reduces the cost to sequence uh, whole genome sequencing um, and the coverage of these uh, specific regions are uh, really high, more than 400x. Typically, you do like a 30x coverage for whole genome sequencing. And it's a high sense, highly sensitive multi-capture multi method that can capture as small as a small input from one nanogram uh, up to 1,000 nanograms. So our uh, transgene negative samples initially tested with the qPCR first, then confirmed again with the transgene negative status using the target capture method. Uh, finally, I want to uh, thank Twist uh, for pro providing uh, uh, our supporting us to bring uh, great technology for Pairwise, and uh, they have uh, helped all the way from designing to uh, experimental uh, data. Uh, I, I'm, and uh, Kaylee McCoy, and uh, she has been a great support. And uh, Tracy Chapman, uh, she brought the idea of target capture technology, and uh, uh, and everyone uh, else, um, Tom, uh, Gina, Julius, Justin, um, Josh, uh, Derek, they all supported uh, in uh, looking at the data carefully and analyzing it, and. Uh, uh, Bridget, Holly, uh, Abid, uh, they have been all um, great support. Thank you.